How's it going guys? Welcome back to Meeks Movies. It's been a little while. I hope you had, you know, a good Thanksgiving, a good Black Friday, and Merry Christmas. I know, you're supposed to say Happy Holidays not to offend people, but fuck them. Merry Christmas. But before I go on, let's hope this little thing pops up. Take a drink of my Rockstar. Ooh. You might want to grab yourself one, because it's been a while, so I got a lot to show, show you. So let's get into it, huh? First up, From Beyond the Grave. I, I really enjoyed this one. Pretty solid movie. If you haven't seen it, definitely recommend you grab this one when you can. It's worth getting. As is this next one, which I got on Black Friday for like four bucks. Surprised it showed up with a slipcover, but I watched it a couple of nights ago, and I actually kind of enjoyed it. The acting was a little questionable at times, but otherwise, it was pretty entertaining. It's Critter's Attack. It's not great, but it's entertaining. <clears throat> Next up, I... Whew, I was watching this one and there was, there was a few bids, so I decided to sneak in there, steal it at the last minute, got it for a really good price, and that's House on Haunted Hill. Reverse start. Special features. This is where y'all pause it. But yeah, another good movie. Watched this one the other night, and it, this one was also pretty entertaining and funny at times. And I liked it. We got Teen Titans Go versus Teen Titans. Another one I picked up for like four bucks on Black Friday. Showed up recently. Found this one at the dollar store and been wanting to check it out for a while. So I went ahead and grabbed it. I haven't watched it yet though, but a monster calls. I am Groot. Alright, this next one is a classic. I had to grab it because it's nicely packaged and whatnot. Fantastic movie, I enjoy it. And well, keep in mind, if you're interested in picking this up, it is Region B Locked, and that's Prom Night. It's a nice box. Nothing too special about it besides, besides the special feature stuff. Got a nice book. Let's see if I can get it out of here. Case ain't bad either. It's pretty nice, but not not a whole lot to it. Kind of nice art in the inside. Jamie Lee, very nice. Not a whole lot on that side though. Then you got a book. Come on. Ordered it from Amazon UK. As far as I know, that's where you can get it. And I don't know. But anyways, it's a pretty nice set. Again, region B locked, so if you plan on picking this up and watching it on your region A player, good luck. Next up is one I wasn't expecting to be this good, I guess. And on the Apocalypse, another order from Amazon UK. This one is region free. Pretty entertaining movie, some catchy songs. I liked this version it was about the same price as the US release, but the US release was just a basically a plain Blu-ray with maybe a slip cover, I believe, but I'm not sure if it has both cuts extended and theatrical. If you do know, let me know. Otherwise, got this nice booklet to this set. 
it seemed like a more for your money, I guess. It is region free. And it is worth picking up. Black Friday pickup. I think this one was also four bucks. Escape Room. Pretty solid movie. Another one I liked. Then we got. Whew. Then we got Ready or Not. You better be. She was. She was. Samantha was good in this one. She almost stole the show in Mayhem. If you haven't seen that, be sure to check it out. But she was really good in this one as well. Yeah. It's nice to see her get her own movie. And... Dang it. Don't have time for this. I'm putting some stuff back so I have room to pile things up, I guess. This was a recent release on Tuesday. I haven't gotten around to opening it yet, but Stephen King's Silver Bullet. We've got some new stuff on there. I just need two more from Scream Factory's Stephen King releases, and I'll have all the King ones at least. And Sleepwalkers got a nice price on it from eBay. I know there's not a lot of too many people out there too crazy about this movie, but it's not that bad. Not great, but not bad. Black Friday pickup. Haven't watched it yet, but hopefully soon. Got Mortal Engines. Whew. I heard mostly negative things about this, but then around Black Friday, it seems to be a lot of people that enjoyed it and recommended other people to pick it up, so I just figured 10 bucks ain't bad, I'll grab it, give it a shot, and I know his wife's been wanting to see it, so let's do that for a second here. All right, I did watch this one, and it there was at times where it kind of looks like I was watching an animated movie, but it wasn't, which kind of bugged me, but outside of that, Fun movie, very entertaining. Alita. Wasn't even expecting to have a slip cover, but it did. So awesome. But yeah, pretty solid movie. Picked this one up from Dollar General. You know, the first couple of times I seen it, um, I didn't care for it, but I really liked the main actress. So I thought I'd give it another shot, and that's Sucker Punch. I liked her in this, as I'm sure a lot of you did, but I'm not sure if I'm looking forward to checking it out, but I'm hoping that I at least like it a little bit this time around. Alright, this one I'm probably not going to open, because I got the US release, so I don't really need to, but got this one from Amazon UK. Upgrade the set that it actually deserves. You got stuff going on here I don't know if that's going to focus but limited edition content you got the slip case 40 page booklet poster pretty nice release this is what we should have gotten no instead we got our 4k cancelled and had to settle for a blu-ray and... <sighs> bastards oh, let's see this is, got this one from Arrow, of course, and Robocop. You guys know the movie and probably seen quite a few unboxings for this already, so I guess no need to for that, but nice to have that in the collection. Now I'm contemplating whether I want to get Scream Factory's Robocop 2 and 3 and get rid of my trilogy or not. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But anyways, this was on sale for Black Friday at Best Buy and Amazon for $11.99 and it's Salt on Precinct 13. I didn't have it yet and been having my eye on this steel book for a while so I went ahead and grabbed it. I believe it's still $11.99. Last I looked it was. It was a couple days but 
if you're interested in picking up, I would check that out. And a recent release, Big Trouble in Little China. Mm, since my steelbook section doesn't fill up as fast as my slipcover section, I decided to go with the steelbook on this one. Pretty nice release. Show you what's got going on back there in case you haven't seen it already. Yeah. I haven't gotten into this one yet, but looking forward to doing that. Soon, maybe? All right. Whew. This one I've been searching for for a little while and finally found it at a really good price. With slip cover on it, mind you, which surprised me. I wasn't expecting to, so I picked up a slip cover. Now, so now I have an extra one, but Candyman. If anyone needs Candyman, let me know. We can probably work out a trade or something. Also, when I first watched this one, I didn't care too much for it. It was okay. I liked the cast, but it's been a while since I've seen it, and I wanted to check it out. Haven't yet, though. That's The Strangers. I like Liv Tyler. But, yeah. Then we got an out-of-print one. Which, oh, I haven't seen this movie in a while. I've seen the first one like a hundred times. and But I haven't only seen this one a handful of times and haven't seen it in a while. That's Species 2. From what I remember of it, it's a pretty decent movie. Not, nothing too special, but... And this made-for-TV movie is fantastic. We got Dark Half. Can you believe they're remaking this? Oh. Does it need to be? No. No. Anyways. Also picked up Hashtag Horror. It was like three bucks in Hamilton books. Pretty decent movie, but I don't know if I'll watch it again. It's it's a bit too young, I suppose. But like the cast are all like 12 and 13, and then I don't know. The movie was decent, but again, there's like it just feels too young to have too many repeat value. All right, finished the collection because in my eyes, there's only two. Creeper. Number two. You guys know the movie, so I don't need to get too far into that. Also got Prophecy, nice creature feature. Definitely worth picking up, so do it. This one was on Hamilton Books, so was these next. So was the next two after this. And they sold out pretty quick. They had other how to print stuff on there for cheap and I was going to get those but everything went pretty quick but we got Scarecrows I haven't seen it yet Stigmata fantastic movie and New Year's Evil there's not a whole lot of New Year's themed slasher movies out there so and those three are pretty much out of print now. This next one's going out of print. I don't know if it got there just yet, but oh, I tell you, I'm not a big fan of the first movie. I know it's a lot of people's favorites, but I'm like, eh, I like the beginning and the end, but everything in the middle just kind of mm, doesn't do it for me. It's not one of my favorites. I liked Howling 2, this one, Howling 2, a little bit better. But still not not great, but I felt it was worth adding to my collection. Whew. I haven't watched these ones yet either, but I've been dying to, so I had to pick it up. And I haven't gotten to watch it yet, but we got Catacombs and Swell Cellar Dweller. Look forward to checking these ones out. The trailers, they look awesome. And Next one was pretty cheap. I think it was like six bucks. But it was definitely worth it. 
Devil's Gate. I enjoyed it. Um, I don't care for the name of it, though. Devil's Gate makes you think, you know, devils and such, but it's aliens. So don't go by the name. It's a pretty solid movie, though. I liked it. And then another one, I offered, the guy wanted like 15, 16, 4, and I was like, eh, how about 8? He's like, okay. The Hollow. Heard mixed reviews on this one, but I've been wanting to check it out. And price wasn't bad. I haven't seen this one yet either, but it's about vampires. We have Stranger, presented by Eli Roth, which I know some of you don't like, some of you do. But that wasn't the selling point. Everyone seems to love this movie, so I thought I'd give another shot. We got the Baba Duke. It was like seven or eight bucks on Amazon, so I went ahead and grabbed it. Another, another one with mixed reviews. I'm getting ready to. Well, sounds like the kids are getting up, so I probably won't be watching it just yet. It Chapter Two. I know there's a set with both movies in it, but it doesn't really have any special features. And there's not a lot on here, but I know the first one has some nice ones. Some nice interviews with Stephen King and such, and so I had to have those. My Vinegar Syndrome uh, Black Friday buys are finally here. My seven ones have not shipped yet. But... Picked up New Year's Evil. Haven't seen it yet, but you can't go wrong with Christmas slashers. Sometimes you can, but... <clears throat> Silent Night, Deadly Night 2. And they replaced the blue case with a clear one, which is nice. I also picked up a couple of clear cases because... This one being in a blue case bugged me, so I switched it out. Now it feels much better on here. And we got Spookies. This cover seemed to be a lot of people's favorite because it sold out fairly quick. Same on the inside. I haven't opened it yet, so I can't. But looking forward to checking that out. It's been quite a while. This one kind of flew under the radar, I guess so to speak and it's not the kind of release you usually see from arrow but it's kind of bare bones and true romance i think it was like 11 bucks from amazon uk we got they didn't go all out on this one they didn't even really advertise it just which surprised me this movie is fantastic if you haven't seen it you need to. Hmm. Then got Amity, Amityville Horror Trilogy. I liked the first two. Haven't really seen the third one, not that I can recall, anyways. But hmm, from the reviews and such, it doesn't sound like it's going to be good. But I'm eventually going to check it out. I had to grab it before it went up to like 60, 70 bucks. I didn't want to regret it later. Man, I wish I would have gotten it when it was 25 or 30. <sighs> and we're, yeah, you were on the last one. I enjoyed this one quite a bit as well. Watched it a couple days ago. Pretty solid movie. We got Quentin Tarantino's. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Definitely worth picking up. I don't know if it's worth buying that special edition for 60 bucks, but definitely worth grabbing. Especially if you like Tarantino and his movies. This one's quite different than what he's usually done. But I'm glad you guys came back and watched this video. Kept watching my other videos. And I hope you continue to watch in the future. Happy Holidays again, Merry Christmas, and enjoy the show.